Hello and welcome to the final Warriors HQ of the season. On this week's show, we have news of a new signing, the winners of the SP Energy Network's Warriors Championship, and our preseason fixtures are confirmed. It was announced this week that we will be playing Northampton Saints at Franklin's Gardens on Friday the 24th of August in a reversal of this season's game at Bridgehaw. The week before, on Saturday the 18th, Warriors will be playing against Harlequins at Perthshire Rugby's North Inch Ground as part of the famous Grouse pre-season challenge in association with Perth and Kinross Council. A pop-up stadium will be built to accommodate at least 5,000 supporters and tickets will go on sale to members on Friday the 8th of June and on public sale from Monday the 18th. Yesterday, Matt and Xander Fagerson were in Perth for the announcement and we spoke to members of Perthshire RFC. It, it's a fantastic opportunity and we're delighted to be hosting the event. Um, it's not often that you get such a quality game and here on the on the North Inch, Canoole Hill in the background and we think it'll be a fantastic opportunity both for here and people in Perth, but also the local community in Caledonia. So we're delighted to have it here. 150 years, we're celebrating with a bang, and I suppose this will be a real, you know, icing on the cake, I suppose, for that 150th year. Yeah, so yeah, we're really excited. Yeah, from a, from a development perspective as well, getting having a sort of hook for kids to, to have a great experience of rugby and maybe hook some more players into to play the game. It's such a great opportunity for the region. Rugby's going to be on everybody's lips, you know, come August, you know, because of this in, in the area. And, you know, are you going to the game? Are you going to see, see the guys walking about? So from our perspective to sell rugby, you know, which we, which to be fair, we do a great job. We've got about 400 kids playing rugby here. Just to take another step is, is, is going to be great. So looking forward to it massively. I think the chance also of our local school children, I mean Rory and the development team, they go out, you know, sell the word of rugby, but to have the professional players here, one of the professional teams playing, you know, the, the best, one of the best teams in the Pro 14 against one of the best teams in the English Premiership, I think it really will be exciting and to get as many of those kids along just to see what it's like at the top end, the professional level. While in Perth, Matt Fagerson was presented with the Sir Willie Purvis Quake from the Friends of Scottish Rugby as Young Scottish Player of the Season. I spoke to him. Matt, firstly, we're here in Perth because we're going to be playing Harlequins here in pre-season. How excited are you to be back up here playing rugby? Yeah, also this is where I grew up. Um, played quite a few games for um, for the Perth Rugby Club and obviously grew up at Strath Island. So, um, so yeah, no, it's going to be awesome to be back. It's great to get on the road as, again as well. You've played in Stirling before, but <laughs> it's an opportunity for people who maybe haven't seen you guys play before to do so. Yeah, um, yeah we haven't really come further than Stirling, I think, to play um, in, in quite a long time. So. Like for places, people from Aberdeen or, or Dundee or Perth or whoever, it'll be, it'll be nice for them to see, see uh, the, the Warriors in action. And congratulations in our order as well. You've been named uh, Young Scottish Player of the Year. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels uh, it feels awesome. Um, obviously, guys like Johnny and Finn and Mark Bennett and stuff um, winning it before. Um, it's a very prestigious award. So, yeah, it was a massive honour um, honor to receive it. And the first Ferguson to win it as well. You must be delighted. Yeah, no, yeah. Very pleased. Um, he didn't beat me to that one, but uh, but yeah, no, happy. Looking forward to the summer tour. How are you feeling? Are you are you nervous or are you raring to go? Um, yeah, I was. I, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, obviously, first tour away, but uh, but you know, I'm just excited to get out there. And uh, if, I, if I'm playing, then um, then yeah, it'll be it'll be awesome. It'll be a massive experience. Can't wait. What's this season been like for you? Have you played more than you expected, or has it been very much how you imagined? Um, probably played a, a lot more than I expected. Um, Obviously, my new coach in my aim was just to, to make a good impression and um, and just develop my game a, a lot more. I, I feel like I've, uh, I've done that this year, so um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it's gone. And then, eventually, tour's over. Have you got a holiday booked? Are you going to be able to put your feet up for a while? Yeah, I'm going away to Mallorca the day we the day we get back um, with the missus. So that that'll be nice. Very excited for that. Do you mean Magaluf? No, nah, definitely mean Mallorca. Okay, she she wouldn't allow Magaluf. In other news, Finn Russell will be in action this weekend after being selected by the Barbarians to face England at Twickenham on Sunday and Shawlands Academy won the SP Energy Network's Warriors Championship ahead of our semi-final and they paraded their trophy at half-time in front of 10,000 Warrior fans. We've had over a thousand kids involved in this tournament for the last few months and uh, that's a great thing for rugby but it's a great thing for kids to get involved in sport. I'm particularly pleased the girls teams have been involved this year and, uh, and how well they've done we run an engineering business and I'm really trying to encourage as many girls to do something different, think about engineering as a career and rugby some of the things that shake up the norms for girls. So delighted everyone enjoyed themselves and delighted that the uh, you had a great weather tonight to make sure that it was a great night for everybody. Finally, it was announced this week that USA International number 8 David Tamalau will be joining the club for two years from the Utah Warriors. 
Here's a look at the big man in action. Thanks for joining us on Warriors HQ throughout the season and for all of your ongoing support. HQ will now become monthly over the summer, but keep an eye on all our social channels for regular content. <laughs>